We're gonna learn how to build a CRUD operation with MongoDB. We're gonna be using front end and back end together. And I wanna show y'all how they work together. We're gonna first start off with back end. This is what we're gonna do. Okay, essentially, we want to have to filter by anything. So 80 or 100. Okay, something like that. The rating. And is it full time? Is it PTO? Is it no? See? Okay. Those stuff. And go down here. Create. We want to create something. Something like that. Uh, whatever. Position backend. 43. Uh, yes. And no. We just say that. Create. Let's go back and this is the new one we got okay and after that we're gonna click on this and this will pop up crazy huh and we can go ahead and delete this last one delete it and then we're gonna go ahead and you know edit it and stuff update it go ahead and make two folders okay first we want to say client or front end, whatever we want to call it. Uh, not in there, but outside, we want to say server. Okay. We got two of those. Now let's go inside this folder. Let's cd into that folder. Server. And what do we want to do? We want to npm init and dash y to, to say, hey, give me all these packages and then we're gonna install a couple of things we want to install npm i we want to do course uh, express uh, mongoose okay and then what else what else do we want i think that's it for now we don't need any of the stuff let's go ahead and run it oh yeah I forgot about the other one we need nodemon okay nodemon is cool basically you can run your file without ever have to stop in it and then we run it again every time you fix something you know it's very annoying so inside this we're gonna make a new file this file is going to be index. So we'll call it whatever you want. Doesn't really matter. So in this file now, we save it. We want to go to our package. This is where the nomon is going to kick in. We're going to say start. That's the command we want. And then we want nomon to start the index file. Okay. We're good. Close it up. And then now we're gonna import a couple of stuff. We're gonna say const express. We're gonna say require express. Okay. And then we want course const course require course course. And we want to initialize the the express express okay and after that we're good to go and test it out let's see if it works in order to do that let's create our down here let's create a const port we want to have a port at 3001 and then we want to add the listen. We want to listen to this port we have there. And we want to do console.log server is running on whatever port support. Okay, let's go ahead and run it. Do npm start and now we're seeing that it works okay 
Now let's test out our API. <clears throat> now let's go ahead and do app dot git. We want to slash forward. We want to listen what a request and resolve response and do JSON. We want to try hello world. Let's see what we got. Okay. Let's go here. Here. You want to delete all that. All that. <clears throat> okay. We're going to. I'm going to say localhost 3001. There we go. Our API works, and that's all that matters. Okay. Now this is where the magic is gonna happen. Okay. You ready? Okay. If you're all ready, we're gonna have to use bring in a couple of more stuff. Okay. This one we we'll do this middleware. We use express the JSON. Okay. Uh, the reason why we're using this is because when when we send something from the back into front end, like it will interp interpret it. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. It will parse the JSON data. Okay. If we don't use this, it won't work. So we say parse JSON data. Okay, we need that. And the other one is we're gonna use app course. Uh, let me use course. And the reason why we're using course is because we want different domain to speak to one on one another. Okay, different domain speak to another okay if we don't use this then it won't work okay we can't talk to the back end and the back end can talk to the front end so these are the reason why we use these and the next step would be this would be to start our mongodb all right, let's get started. I already set up some things to my, okay. Let's go and I'm gonna log into a different account just to show you guys these. But let's see if I can start all over. Let me use this one. I want you to guys, I want you guys to see the beginning to the end, okay? I'm gonna submit it. Okay. We're gonna close it. We don't want preference, but what do we have here? Okay. Projects. Okay, we got projects already new project okay we're gonna call it new project what we want to call this okay hmm let's see did i do anything yet no right speak all right, let's go ahead and start this. <coughs> yeah, let's go here. Let's go to our database. Okay, open, build the database. We want to use the free one. And then this is good, this is good. Can I change the name once? Okay, let's just keep it like that. And let's create it. And then we want username and password and always remember this password, okay? But I'm gonna change it.
Okay, I'm gonna do uh, let's do test one, two, three. So don't copy my all right, guys. And my username is this. Don't copy it for real. Don't copy it. And I'll delete this after this video. So don't even think about it. Create a user, local environment, and add it. Okay, add your IP address and mine is already here. And just finish and close and go to overview. And no, and we want to go here, connect it. And if you don't have the compass, compass is cool. Okay, it's a desktop version of this. And I don't have, if you don't have it, you download follow through, okay? And but I already have it, so I will copy this. Let's see if this is the same link. It is the same link. Yep. Okay, we copy those and then we close it. Since I already downloaded this, I'm open this up. Let's give it a second. Let's give it a couple seconds. All right, we're back. This is good. Go now. Let's go here. Did you remember the link we just copied? Yes. If you remember that, let's go ahead and paste. Paste that. Want to paste that link here. And then we want to do. We want to put the password. Password was test one two three. Uh, save and connect. And let me call this my connection. Save it. Okay, it's connecting. All right, my connection, and we got this string. Okay. Now, what do we want to do? All right. We're going to create a database. Not bad. Create a database. What are we going to call this? Learn, learn, okay. And collection name will be we want to create an employee, so we want employees. Okay, create it, good to go. Before we go, we want to generate a fake data. Okay, what do we want to have? Remember, it's a JSON, so we need this. We want name, we'll call this when, when dev. And under this, I want age do 30, right? And then down here, I want to do position. Let's say YouTuber, okay? And then my rate is zero. <laughs> Are this gonna be a number and down here am I full time full time uh, it will be a no a string and then PTO let's say no okay there we go we got the fake data insert it and we're good to go there now just minimize this and I think we're good to go and close this down okay now let's test a couple connection since we only got this okay we want to get all our employees what do we want to do Okay. 
we first have to connect it okay we want to do mongoose 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 dot connect and we want the string <coughs> You have this you just go here copy the string and paste it there and then our data with names was mark learn mine okay we're good as connected now what do we want to do okay we want next one will be will be Wait, let's create a new folder called models. Okay. Inside this model, inside this model, we're gonna call it inside this model, we're gonna call it we're gonna call it employees. Okay. That JS. And then we want to get const mongoose. We want to require it. Require mongoose. Okay. After that, we want to. All right, we're gonna create a employee schema. Okay. Let's go ahead and do new mongoose dot schema and when we had the schema. Remember when we inserted the remember when we inserted the data? That's how we want to create it. Uh, but this is gonna be different. We want to set the type. Say type will be string and required. We want it to be required true. Okay. After that we want to do age it's going to be age position position rate full time pto okay age it's going to be a number and then we say position position string and then we're going to say rate is a number and then the rest will be string all time and then this is PTO okay now that we got that let's go ahead and do let's connect our model okay Cause employee model Mongoose the model and we want the database the collection name okay this is where we're gonna get this employees whatever you name it there and then bring in the schema and let's export it module dot exports the employee model and save it okay close it down and then let's go back to our stuff oh we don't want this mongoose okay save it up and then we want this should be async async and we want to get let result we want the result and to await employee model uh, i think we need to bring that in need to bring in the employee model as well 
require models employee employees there we go and we want to we want to find okay find all of them all our data from here okay that's lead back here and this is where we're connecting to our database right to our collection and then we're going to find it and we're going to say res.json and we want the result and let's go to result okay then let's go to this endpoint and see what we got let's refresh it now we're getting nothing <laughs> interesting hmm did I do something wrong learn at e a r n learn oh it's not learn is learn <laughs> with an m dang there we go so we got all our data back okay we got one data so that's how we're gonna start Okay, we got our data, that's how we get our data back. Now in, in order to add some data there, let's go ahead and do that, okay? Let's create an endpoint, app.post. I'm gonna use post this time. We're gonna create an endpoint. It's gonna be create employee. Okay, you can name it whatever you want, but this, this one here makes sense. Gonna make it in sync sync and request and response and we want to cons this is gonna be our employee okay and we want to get the request that body this is what we're gonna get when we send it back from the URL so this endpoint okay and we're gonna send it to request Okay, that's the body text, and it's gonna come down here, and then we're, we're gonna do something about it, okay? Now we're gonna go with const, we're gonna create a new employee, and then we're gonna say new employee model, and we wanna put the employee there, okay? All that body text, whatever. And then we want to do a wait uh, new employee dot save. Okay, that's all we gotta do. And then if you wanna send whatever that you get from this, if you wanna see it, just go with rest JSON employee. Okay. Now let's go ahead and do something. Uh, let's go to our extensions. Download this. It can be Thunder, Thunder Client. Okay, this is easy, nice. It's not like Postman. Postman, you have to go to their web pages. It sucks. Go here, and then let's do new request. Okay, and then if we wanna get request, we can do this right here we can even do a local post three thousand and one slash let's see what we get we got those same thing okay now we want to add something okay give me a second All right, y'all. So we're gonna make some post request. Let's do some post and let's say create employee. That's what we had. And let's go to the body. This is gonna be our JSON content. Okay, we're gonna say 
name. All right, we're gonna say oh, we're just gonna copy this. Saying it's our sense is already here. Let's paste it. Call it Ben. And one change a little, and then front end say rate eighty, and then let's go ahead and send it. Okay, unexpected. Oh yeah. All right, let's send it. Okay, let's go ahead and see what's going on. Oh boy, everybody told me you could be whatever you want to be. So I told myself, I'm going to be a singer. I'm going to play on the keys. I can do whatever I want if I just believe. Yeah, but then over the years, everybody's telling me to find a career. Huh. And I'll be rolling my eyes, thinking I'll be all right with my guitar by my side. But now it's like 55 quid for my phone bill and a talent for my bus pass too. I wish I could go back and tell myself that. Life is gonna hit you hard They say money won't buy you happiness But being broke really ain't a good time So all I want is just to get paid I know I ain't ashamed I'm trying to make a wage now Employees validation fail. Okay, let me see why. Let me look at my validation here, not here. Come here. The rate number all time. Hmm. Oh, maybe that's why huh? it should be small. Okay, and then let's check. Check string. Okay. Let's try that. Would it work? Come on, please, please. Come on, please. Okay, let's see why it's taking longer. But the only reason why it says fail is because the naming and the type maybe. Maybe that's why it doesn't work. Uh, let's see. There we go. We got it. Okay. <laughs> At hard time. Okay. Uh, we got our employees. The next one will be we're going to have to save it. And what do we want to do? We want to update. Okay. Want to update certain employees? That's gonna be the put. Let's say update employee, employee, and we want the ID of what, which employee we want to update. It's gonna be in sync again. Request, rest. And then we want to get the employee. So const employee. In order to get the ID sent from the front, we want request the params. Okay, it's gonna be through the URL. 
and we want ID const okay sorry about that and then down here we want to say await and one await employee employee model dot find by ID and update we want say ID ID is gonna be the employee that we got and we want to update by what so we we can do what we can do is say for now quest body would it work would it work like that okay well i want to do that and let's see what we got okay see if we can update this employee here to john the naming okay let's go here let's go post again but we're gonna change it to put and it's gonna be update employee and we want to add the id and then we want the body to be john all right cross fingers <laughs> let's see Okay, we sent it, no errors. There we go, John. We got it, y'all. All right. And then if we want to change this to 12. Yeah, he's 12 years old, making $234. Sent it, cancel it, sent it again. And there we go, updated. And then we can go back and now what we want to do is delete okay this is the whole crud operation one delete and we want to create a api for that as well oh ye we want the id again i want to see which ID we want async S Y N C. Okay, we want request, request, response. Want const employee again. Want request the params and dot id. And what do we want to do? We want to await. Get employee model again dot find by id and delete and let's say id this id comes from here okay i don't want it to confuse all and that's the id we want to delete easy save it and we want to delete this one copy and then go here paste this there and then we want to do delete and um, i don't think we need this send error cannot delete employee blah 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 oh yeah <laughs> the update D -E -E let's go ahead and delete that employee bam let's check it all gone there we go y'all so this is not this is just testing our api okay Everything seems to be working fine and this is all we need from backend.
this is all we need we're gonna change some things up for a little bit next but next video will be our client okay this is where we're gonna get our input we're gonna type in the employees that we want to create and delete and update and whatnot okay that's it y'all see you in the next video make sure to subscribe comment down below peace out